Here's a quick tip how we can reduce the amount of mocks we have for our tests. Because not always we have, not always we need to have a lot of them. Um, most of the time we need to strive for the smallest amount of mocks we can get. Especially for simple functions like in this example. I was just working on this code base and I've noticed that this simple function requires three mocks, which is so wrong. And mocks will always bite you at the end. They complicate code so much. Like, look at this. Why do we need to test? Why do we need to mock toast? And why do we need to mock the trans function for translating, uh, you know, strings into other languages? So I thought about it. I you know, I sat down, I just thought, like, I think that the initial function is wrong, not the test themselves, but the initial function, because first of all, it's misleading, it's saying filter forbidden links, it takes links, uh, it filters them, and if the link is forbidden, it will show the toast with an error message. And if the link is allowed, it will basically return all the allowed um, links and all the tests are passing and the the thing is this function is forbidden URL already heavily tested so basically there is not much things to test here other than that the function returns filtered links so I thought about it First of all, the name is misleading. We need to create a separate function that is going to just print forbidden links. Actually, it just needs to return void. And as the um, all, all it's going to do is just print stuff without doing any checks, just print stuff. Whatever you give, you give links and it's going to print links. And now here, we also don't need to print any, anything. But we need to know which, are li which links are not allowed. We can also do const um, forbidden, which is also a link. And let's uh, make them let. And now if the link is forbidden, we do forbidden push link. Otherwise it's gonna be allowed. Um, now we need to remove this two raw function. Don't really mind it. It's just a Vue.js function that removes proxy from the object, basically returns object to its original shape, removing reactivity from the object. So we only need to do it for allowed allowed okay and now we return object with allowed and forbidden oh i can see there is a typo somewhere allowed oh no there is no typo there is just the return value now is wrong allowed and forbidden, also links. Okay. And now every time we, we use this function somewhere in our code base, we take forbidden links and pass them to this new function, which doesn't really need to be tested since TypeScript already tests that we are doing everything correct by st statically checking that we pass links and I mean, you could test it, but you need to mock it for two functions, basically. And with this function now, everything is simpler. Uh, now we only need to change tests. First of all, we don't we don't need these mocks now. We can remove two mocks. Okay, I removed the wrong thing. Let's let's do it this way. Now we only need to mock runtime, which is basically sets the runtime to Firefox, Chrome, or web. Okay. 
Now we go to filter. Let's test just this function. So we set it to only does not filter links in Chrome runtime. So it does not filter. So it has to return these four exact links. Result allowed. We remove these and forbidden has to be zero. Good. Now we remove this only flag and add it here. We don't need to spy now. So in Firefox, we filter these two links will be filtered for in Firefox runtime. So we remove all of these complicated mocks. And now result is going to be allowed. Check if it passes. Yes, and we can even make it nicer by also checking if forbidden links also two. And the first one is going to be about config. The second one is going to be Chrome extensions. Let's check. So you get the point. It's just much more simpler to test without stuff that prints stuff to to your DOM. That's pretty much everything I wanted to show.